Well, a much better view and. Much better sound. That's the uh, keyboard, the first keyboard on top here, hooked up to uh, the mixer and out to uh, one of the systems that handles the sound, one of the computer systems that handles the sound. So, uh, that top one's ready to go. I'll work on the next couple of days, I'll work on the bottom one. It's more or less hooked up now that I know that's working. Uh, it's simply a matter of getting the other one working as well, so we'll kind of have to see how that goes. Uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, uh, uh, there is going to be a bit of work. There's always uh, things you have to learn, things you have to uh, sort of work on. And uh, as long as you don't mind that, then uh, things will go very well. Uh, well, not <laughs> necessarily very well. They will go well. Uh, it's just that you have to have some a, a bit of patience, a bit of perseverance, and uh, uh, that's kind of how that ends up working out. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, is that uh, the, if you don't mind challenges, then then pushing that extra mile, that extra oh, the extra little bit doesn't matter. It 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 it, it helps you get to where you need to go. But it does, as I said, it does present a bit of an issue because you do have these these emotions that are tied to this, which are in many ways uh, viewed as anxieties. Uh, well, because they, they, they do in many ways manifest themselves in anxieties. In that, uh, anxieties don't necessarily have to be visible in terms of how you interact with other people. They could be there, they could be in a hidden form or a latent form. And then these latent forms typically come out in your dreams, and this is what could end up leading a dream uh, to having yourself wake up the way it is, because just it, it, you leave a situation unresolved. And this resolution plays, if you're a lucid dream, it plays over in your mind and again and again and again until you come to some degree of resolution with the emotions that you had during the dream, in other, or, or particularly the situation. And as it, it is coming to that resolution that becomes a difficult ta task. Uh, prayer does help. The meditation, the, the prayer meditation helps. Uh... But again, if the prayer meditation is to push yourself forward, uh, well, it does indeed help. There are other issues that kind of pop in as well, because you're not going to be able to conquer all your anxieties. You're going to be able to deal with one or two of your anxieties, maybe. But the reality is that the, uh, the majority of your anxieties will go unresolved in terms of complete resolution. So what you have to settle for is a partial resolution. Something that you can work with, something that you can live with. If you cannot achieve a total uh, 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 resolution. And this is kind of how I end up working out. Is I, 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 Because I'm on the edge all the time, uh, I sort of have this sort of existence that's sort of beyond myself. Uh, this is the uh, methodology which I use. I try to find some degree of resolution to uh, <clears throat> the issues that are at hand. Like this piano working out. Good step forward. But it, re it required a, 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 a number of, uh, of steps over on the mixer uh, that got all the systems working in there. I, before I had tested it out, and you heard the sound from the piano, but it was coming from the piano speakers. If you want to mix it and eventually record from it, you have to get it into the mixer, and then from the mixer into the recording device. That's the, basically the computer. But a seat, the computer also provides the speakers, and I found the speakers were good enough, because you can even hear it even down in the, uh, in the in, in deeper end. 
you've got good uh, 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 sound from there. Then I had to adjust the quality of the sound on, on the, there's an equalizer on the mixer. So that you can adjust the quality of there. And there's also uh, a high, low, and in, in, uh, a high, mid, and, and low sort of sound filters that are on the, uh, the piano as well. So, uh, and on the mixer as well. And those need to be adjusted. Uh, so there is a number of, uh, of tuning issues that have to go on. Uh, the next thing I have to do is then do the next hookup for the, uh, the the bottom piano, but that's going to require a second computer, a laptop that provides the power from the USB port, uh, and also it, it provides the initial sound as well. So uh, that's going to have to be worked out. Uh, so it's, it's it's going to be some time before, uh, uh, at least another week or so, uh, before the music studio is ready, so I can start learning my music. Uh, basically, you have to learn the scales. Uh, you have to learn technique. There's technique you have to learn, and then from from the technique and, and the scales, uh, you start going into your songs. So uh, that's where we are, and we're at the beginning of a new vlog. It is five hours, yeah, just five hours into the seventeenth uh, day of November. It's Tuesday, and we'll see what happens with our scooting tonight. Whether or not we go to my parents' house. If there is, if I do that, then I will be uh, vlogging probably there and back. And that will add a, another length to the vlog again. When you vlog as you can... The hair never looks good, because you're vlogging, always vlogging in the moment, without a care to how you look. Anyways, it's six hours and uh, 28 minutes into the day of Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. Oh. And we're ending the vlog for the 17th. This is the ending segment. Uh, I guess it isn't a problem that uh, the other vloggers have when they're vlogging their regular day. Uh, they forget to end the vlog because they're too tired or, or what have you. Uh, this is not the case here because we are 24-7 and sleep is part of the work because the dream is part of the work. I'm still a, I'm a lucid dreamer. I was supposed to have vlogged. I had my scooter. I did a scooter run yesterday. Uh, but I don't know how much of it recorded. When I got to my place, the camera was off. I don't know why the camera was off, but... Uh, Somehow, in the process of writing, it, it, it turned itself off. I don't know, maybe, maybe it was too cold and just uh, didn't operate at that temperature. So, it was my first cold ride. My first, uh, my first cold ride. <coughs> and the first ride uh, in second gear. I got up to 50 kilometers an hour. So that was that was an accomplishment all on its own. I've got the piano uh, hooked up to the mixer. That was a good job. That was something that was uh, I was I was uh, happy with. Uh, now it remains to be this 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 keyboard below needs to be hooked up. Uh, that's going to be a, a, a process for a few days because uh, the laptop that's behind me, right here, uh, hasn't run. In more than six months, so there's a bit of upgrading that has to be done. There, there, there's a number of things that have to sort of uh, come into play in order to uh, get things working again. But at least there's some degree of progress. Uh, and th th uh, this is where you, you kind of well, I'm running out of steam, and. There are a couple of things I could talk about. I could talk about my my dreams again. 
but is uh, is it, it the dreams stay with you even though you're awake, particularly when you're tired. If you haven't finished your sleep yet, sometimes, or in my case, you're going getting into a, a situation of sleep deprivation. Uh, the, the the dreams stay with you even though you're awake. And in some of the dreams, uh, they cause you to think that there there is. Um, a bizarre mechanism, and, the, and what happens is that, <clears throat> oh, fumbling over my words again. It's not always easy to describe things, and so a large chunk of the fumbling is trying to get the right words out, but sometimes that's uh, just not the case. You can't get the right words out, and you kind of have to live with it until you, the words do indeed come in, until the conversation becomes uh, uh, mundane. We're not talking about anything specific. We're just sort of, you know, if you will, chewing the fat. And it was, I was watching Spongebob. There, there's, there is a new version of Spon Spongebob. There's the old version, which was in standard definition. But the original SpongeBob, and then there's a new one. I still haven't made up my mind about the new one. It's not as good as the old one was. It's as if someone has taken the writing and just sort of thrown out all the 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 content that was there before. And. Put in some, some some standard stuff. In other words, uh, the previous SpongeBob had very good music with it. The music actually was part of the comedy, was part of the joke. And you needed to listen to the music and to watch the series in order to understand what the joke was actually going to be about. And so it, it was it, it, not necessarily a higher level of comedy, it just had more to it. Uh, what you're seeing now are standard cartoon gags. The bulging eyes, and you know, it, it, it's the, the overreaction to whatever is going on. That's the, 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 uh, that's the entire gag itself. And the oh, the reaction is overplayed. Well, one of the scenes I was watching yesterday, one of the from, from uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, the new one, ended up matching one of the dreams I had. And watching it was so unbelievable, uh, so so surreal, surreal, surrealistic because I had sort of seen that dream. I had seen the images in my dream. It wasn't exactly the way it was, but it was enough, it was close enough that there was this sort of bizarre, called nexus in space and time, where you felt all of a sudden interconnected between the moment that you are now and the moment when you had that dream way back when. I think it was maybe 20, 30 years ago I had that dream. But I still remember it. And I think as, as, the, as the cartoon played, I felt in that, particularly in that scene, that I felt that connection between now and all the way back then, as if I was standing present uh, in that sort of one time and space that was everything was sort of interconnected. And this is this is, but is it? It's still with me now. I'm awake, but I'm, it's still with me. Anyways, uh, that's it for this vlog. I'm going to do a short amount of gaming uh, and meditation. Uh, nothing uh, too large. Uh, and then go right back to bed again. But I will be starting the uh, vlog for the next day.
for the uh, 18th for, for today. Well, we are definitely late starting our video. Well, actually, we're ending the video for uh, for Wednesday, uh, November 17th. It is just about 13 hours into the day of Thursday, November 19th, and we are just ending the vlog. And ironically enough, we have a package opening because the, the package did come in uh, just a few minutes ago. And uh, so that's one of the ways we're going to end the vlog. Is with a package opening, not in between. Uh, near the end here. Let's get this open. Get our. Uh, section on done. I have an idea what this might be, but you never can tell. Exactly. This one was a little difficult to open. But anyways, we got it. You know, do the same for the inner package. Yep. As I expected, it's a uh, visor, a clear visor for the scooter. I have a helmet that has a very good uh, uh, sunscreen for when you're riding in the sun. But sometimes at night you need the visor, but you don't want it. You don't want a sun. Uh, you don't want a uh, a shaded visor. You wanted a clear visor. And it didn't come with the helmet that I had ordered. But uh, there was a way to get it, and so I got it. And here we go. Let's see if I get that package. Does it open properly enough? I think so. And here it is. I have one way to check it and make sure that this is correct. And I will be back in a minute. Uh, and we are back. This is a visor that came with the original helmet. This is it here. So we're going to hold it up correctly. And this is the new. This is the new one. If the new one fits properly over the old one, we're good to go. And it does. The new one fits with the old one. So, we've got a good clear visor now that we can use uh, at night. So, this will uh, make it easier to do a night ride. The uh, What happens, when it's particularly when it's cold outside, the wind as you're driving, and I'm now up to 50 kilometers an hour, uh, makes your eyes tear up. And... The visor helps prevent that, and so what happens is that if your eyes start to tear up, uh, it uh, impairs your vision, and that's not a good thing while you're going uh, 50 kilometers an hour. So uh, that resolves that problem of uh, doing uh, the 50 kilometer hour speeds. Uh, I resolve problems with some of the issues with the pants that the jacket I had uh, have uh, pushes the pants down, <laughs> and so. As I'm riding, uh, and, and I stand up to uh, at a stoplight or something like that, the, uh, my pants end up falling down. So I was thinking of buying a pair of suspenders, but uh, I made a pair of suspenders uh, out of uh, duct tape. 
<laughs> and it works fine. So, um, I should be coming home tonight. With uh, later on tonight, I want to go to my parents, so I should be going com coming home tonight uh, by scooter. Uh, the weather seems to be clear. It doesn't seem to be any indication that there's going to be rain or anything. Uh, it snowed a little bit on the, on the way there. I don't know what's going to happen with that with that video, whether or not the video actually uh, 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 was taken. Because when I got to my parents' house, the uh, the, the camera when it was off. Uh, I don't know what it had to do with the cold or whatever whatever happened. Uh, nothing recorded. So uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. This is the end of uh, the vlog for. Uh, the seventh, the the eighteenth of November, and in a few minutes, about an hour or so, I'll come back and do the opening. Probably in the back room, probably in the media room. Uh, uh, will I have some lunch? <laughs>